Hey, Cafe Lot Robot people, John Houck here, and I want to talk about uh, pressure gauges and uh, where to mount them and some other things I've noticed. Uh, a lot of people, including myself, um, can't really view the pressure gauge when you're pulling a shot because kind of you're up from this angle here, and when you're pulling a shot, uh, it's kind of hard to see um, as you uh, kind of view it from this side here, uh, especially as you kind of look down here at the gauge, it's kind of obscured. Um, and so that seems to be something that uh, people would like to see um, uh, a little bit better, to, to be able to see the gauge a little bit better while, while pulling a shot. Um, and uh, so uh, we take a look at some of the solutions people have done uh, over the while that, that I'm aware of that have been posted. Um, uh, Naked Portafilter uh, has a, a kit where they... Um, uh, have uh, the gauge mounted on the back. That seems to be the place where everybody seems to find a, a good place to mount it. Uh, you'll notice that the um, uh, that there's extra fittings here. Uh, well, obviously a larger uh, larger gauge, but also um, some fittings to create a U shape uh, fitting there. Um, Alex uh, uh, recently, uh, well, not recently, I think it was October, uh, posted about this uh, gauge uh, bracket that he just made out of um, metal and, and bent it and and put it in like this. Kind of gives it a nice angle towards the user, um, provided you're using the um, robot kind of turned around backwards. Um, uh, Santiago uh, created a 3D printed part that uses the... Um, uh, gauge uh, bracket that comes with the robot and then this ingenious uh, 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 3D printed part looks like it um, uh, allows you to remove it from the arm and, and adapt it here. Uh, there's an advantage to that uh, which is um, it's hard to take this pressure gauge off of the bracket that connects it to the arm. We'll talk more about that in a little bit. Uh, let's see here. Um, Chris James uh, also same kind of concept only uh, if you look here uh, the way that they use the bracket. Uh, Santiago places it this way. Uh, Chris James does a similar type of thing, but <clears throat> from a different angle. Um, uh, and uh, Tom Tamias, uh, not sure how to pronounce your name, I'm sorry, um, does a U-shape here and then kind of a bracket bringing it down here. And then this looks like a new extension as well. Um, Arno uh, looks like a nice, um, uh, just a nice L bracket here. Um, tube seems to be stretching a little bit down there. Uh, uh, this is um, my hero uh, right here, um, Go Ahead. I don't know who Go Ahead is. Um, and uh, there's kind of an upright bracket, no difference in, um, uh, in, in plumbing. Um, and then this is kind of um, uh, a lot of fittings here uh, going on here. Um, I said something a little bit uh not so nice uh, about this one, Chang. I'm sorry, um, but it just seems like there's a lot of fittings here to accomplish what uh, Go Ahead seems to have done very nicely. So, um, not to be um, uh, too much uh, uh, negative about the Go Ahead, which really is is my favorite one, is that this one does rotate, um, and that's something that people have talked about a lot. Is that these uh, brackets tend to rotate, and so I'm going to throw my two cents in the ring and look at some ways to prevent that from rotating. So uh, if we look here, this is what I'm proposing. Um, a bracket that uh, prevents itself from rotating by kind of uh, hugging the, the neck of the, the head of the robot. Um, but there's also another important uh, part of this is that the, um, the, this hose, which is really quite stiff, it does a lot of pushing and pulling and turning. And I found that uh, after making quite a few prototypes that if that hose is at the same height as the bolt here that goes through the head, then even if you pull and push this hose really hard, it doesn't tend to want to rotate the bracket. Whereas you can kind of go back to this one here, you can, tend, you can see that the hose has got quite a bit of leverage on that. Um, and uh, right here, there's some leverage going on. Um, and that kind of maybe makes those brackets want to rotate more. So going back to this, um, a little thing to keep the bracket from rotating and then um, uh, keeping the gauge at a height where uh, this connects here. Um, I did a couple of other designs. Um, let's see. Um, right here was one of my earlier ones, which was just a bracket, kind of like um, a go aheads, um, but it did rotate on me quite a bit. And... Uh, 
then I went all out with a let's hug the head completely and keep it from rotating. Yeah, this one didn't rotate, but it really seemed to be quite a bit of overkill for what it was doing. Uh, so I, I kind of landed on, um, on this one here, and you can kind of see what it looks like from the back. Um, yes, it's ugly white PLA, but I suppose there's ways to fix that. Um, and uh, kind of this view from here. So um, the first thing I want to say uh, when you're looking at the robot is um, trying to figure out how to take this gauge off. And uh, the first part is pretty easy. Uh, there are two little set screws here that allows this bracket to come off quite easily. Um, then the next thing I would suggest you do is to remove this leg wrist right angle fitting from uh, from this. So now all you really are left with is um, the, the, the bracket that connected to the arm and then this fitting here. And let me go ahead and hide the, um, let me go ahead and hide if I can do this, uh, hide the gauge. Um, looks like I hit not all of the gauge. Um, that was kind of dumb. Um, let's see here if I can just kind of go in here and get the gauge and just hide the gauge. All right, so now what you're left with is this piece here, this uh, piece of brass bushing, and then this coupler here, and that is put together with some seriously strong Loctite, and good luck getting that apart. So before you actually uh, get a bracket and try to do it, um, you may want to first see if you can get this apart. What I did was, um, again, I, I removed the, the right angle fitting. I removed this from the arm. So all I had in my lap was this fitting here, this bracket, and then this piece of brass. And uh, um, I uh, put this in a, in a vise to keep this um, arm from turning. I um, put a, a wrench on this piece here. And as soon as you go to return that, you'll notice that this is turning with it. And you can't really get a wrench on there. And if it does stick out a little bit, you're just going to destroy it because it's soft brass. What I ended up doing is sticking a flat bladed screwdriver in between here, um, in between in this area right here. Twisted the screwdriver. Um, I did scuff things up a bit, but I was able to back this off. That's my suggestion on how to get that apart. Um, I know Paul Pratt says it's not meant to be taken apart. So um, uh, it does come apart, and other people have done it. Maybe people can post uh, better solutions to pulling that apart, but that was probably the hardest part of this whole thing was to, uh, to be able to take this off so you can get it off of the bracket here. So um, let's take a look at um, uh, the, uh, the bracket itself. If you go to, if you want to print 3D print this bracket yourself, um, uh, navigate to bit.ly cafe lot robot gauge bracket. And it's got to be capitalized uh, this way that it's shown here. And it says to download the clip um, STL file, select the bracket tab, which is down here, um, and then select the configuration desired, and then choose export. So what you'll do is you'll go down to the bracket tab. You'll select the configuration desired, and this one has got a 10 degree tilt to it. So what I had shown you on the photograph was a zero degree tilt, which looked like this. Um, so that's how you can set your uh, configuration. Come out over here to bracket, uh, right click on there, and click export. And then you can pick STL and some other options, and then you can download it to your um, to your uh, uh, computer, and then figure out how to 3D print it from there. And what I would suggest, if, if you don't have a 3D printer, um, go to an online service like Make XYZ or find a friend with a 3D printer. Um, and uh, you can see, I think there's uh, quantity discounts at Make XYZ and a bunch of other online uh, 3D printing services. Uh, so you can look at that. So, um, so looking at the bracket here, uh, you did notice that it does have um, a tilt degree. So if we kind of look at it here in terms of the view um, on the Cafe Lat robot. Uh, this is a 10 degree tilt, and maybe that looks good to you. Um, uh, again, what I showed in the actual photograph up here is a um, is a zero degree tilt. I actually like the the not tilted, but I know some people have been talking about uh, having tilt. I allow tilt up to 25 degrees uh, on this part, so it can tilt up to that far. You'll notice again that um, that the, um, the the right angle legris fitting here 
is at the same height as this screw here to try to keep this hose from rotating the bracket. And if there is a little pressure to rotate the bracket, this should keep it from rotating uh, by engaging the neck here. Um, let's see, what else uh, do I want to tell you? Um, you know how to download it. You know how to take it apart. Um, and uh, um, I'd like to hear your thoughts and comments. I'm not saying this is the best solution out there. It is another solution. And uh, um, I, I hope this is something some of you might enjoy. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.